All right, so a question I get often is tattoos, Rob. You have a lot of tattoos. When did you get them? Did you get your tattoos while you were trying to heal your eczema and your dermatitis and your psoriasis? Are tattoos okay to get for people who are trying to heal their skin? Should you wait for your skin to heal before you get tattoos? And if you get tattoos and you have sensitive skin, could it give you eczema? If you haven't guessed, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about tattoos and skin health. I wanna give you guys my story so that you understand when I got all these tattoos and how that breaks down to my healing of my eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis and give you guys a little background information and my experience with being tattooed and clients being tattooed and getting tattoos while healing their skin naturally. So stay tuned. Okay, so um, if you can see close, I actually have a pretty lot of tattoos. Um, my fingers, there's a bunch of them that are kind of covered up too. From, my arms are completely covered. The tattoos all have meaning. If you'd like to see a video about what my tattoos mean, stick around to the end. I'll do a little B-roll after this video and tell you what my tattoos mean if you guys are interested. But here's my story. I started getting eczema and dermatitis really bad, like to the point where I needed to start seeing dermatologists and doctors all the time. When I was in my mid 20s, it really started to bug me at about 25. That's when it was just starting to just get gnarly. 25 through 29 was the worst for me. And strangely enough, during that time, I was getting tattooed. I got my first tattoo, which is this little Celtic guy right here when I was 21. And at that time, my psoriasis and eczema and skin disease didn't bother me that much. It was there. I would get little flare-ups here. My scalp would have dandruff um, and I'd get an itchy sternum, but it wasn't like the full-on flare-ups like you see in my pictures of how I looked. Um, and I got a tattoo at that time and it didn't do anything to my nervous system, immune system, my skin health. It didn't do anything. It didn't change anything. Um, then as I started getting eczema and dermatitis on my elbows and on my hands in different places um, I got more tattoos uh, the next tattoo I got was this one uh, and I don't remember how old I was but I was starting to have eczema and dermatitis then and when I got this one it healed normal and I didn't get any eczema or dermatitis around those areas um, that weren't there already and it didn't seem to have any effect in fact if I go through all of my tattoos um, I have gotten a bunch of them after I've been healed and those have all totally healed easy. They didn't affect the health of my skin in any way, shape or form. Um, I didn't have any flare ups or breakups or anything. I just got them and it was totally cool. But during the year that I really healed my skin, I did get this big octopus and getting this big octopus during that year. Um, there was a couple areas in the octopus, like where the tentacles are around the elbow, that coincided with psoriasis outbreaks and flare-ups. And what I noticed was that nothing happened to those areas. The guy just tattooed right over them. And as you can see, like this whole area was really bad with psoriasis. And there's no weird scars. There's no ink missing from my tattoos. So, so far my experience has been that tattoos for me didn't affect the health of my skin in any way, shape or form at all. In fact, I would say that strangely enough, and, and I don't know if this is just luck or timing or an inflammatory response, but every time I got a big tattoo during the times when I was having flare ups, my flare ups would kind of go away and all the inflammation in my body would go to healing the tattoo. And now I don't know if that's what was actually going on scientifically or with pathology and kinesiology and anatomy and all that. But that's my guess. And I've seen other things that happen like that. Similarly, like I've had a client who broke her leg and her eczema on her face went away for a month. And then when her leg went back to normal, her eczema returned. Could be just random and weird, but it might not be. I might be right on the money. Moving on to people that I've worked with. So for me, 
I didn't have any issues getting tattooed at all while trying to heal myself from skin disease. And I've been cured of skin disease for over eight years and doing great. And I will continue to get tattoos for the rest of my life. Um, I love them. I have a lot of them. For my clients though, it's been a mixed bag. I have one client that I'm currently working with who got a tattoo on the back of his arm. And the place where his psoriasis started to really flare up was literally right around that tattoo. Now obviously, there could be some other things coming into play. He might have gotten a tattoo that the needles might have been a little wonky or, or the tattoo artist went way too deep and, and really messed up his skin. Um, or it just could be something to avoid while you're healing your skin because another client has had a very similar circumstance. She has a full sleeve and every time she got work done on that sleeve, she has flare ups that last a long time. And now in all the parts that she has new tattoos, there's like weird new psoriasis flare up things. So as you can see, like most stuff when it comes to skin disease, it's a mixed bag. It's very customized, it's a very individual thing. I must have just gotten lucky um, and I'm, I'm glad that I did. But the point of this video is for those of you who are thinking about getting tattooed or have been tattooed and maybe want more but are also trying to heal your skin, what should you do? And honestly, I think that it's a conservative approach to just maybe not get tattoos while you're in your healing process or do the opposite. Who gives a Go and get a tattoo, and if you get a little flare-up, guess what? You're gonna heal all your flare-ups anyway. When you get that customized diet, when, when you figure out your healing process, it's all gonna go away anyway. Um, so, for me personally, I did tattoos, and the entire healing process went fine. For many of my clients, they get tattoos and it's fine, but there is a risk, for sure, because I have clients who get tattoos and they're a pain in the butt and cause major issues. So this one's a 50-50 gray area video for sure. You're gonna have to make up your own mind about this one. But as you guys know, for me, I, if I really wanted a tattoo and I was going through eczema and dermatitis again, I would just go and do it. Um, but that's just me. Best of luck to you guys. Leave your comments and questions down below, my friends. Um, like I said, if you guys wanna know a little bit more about what each one of these tattoos mean. I'm gonna get to that really quick when this video is over, so stay tuned for that. Outro time, so some of you guys might wanna fast forward, but here's the important stuff. For those of you who are looking to get a hold of me to become one of my clients, there's a link in the description box. There's links in the description box for everything skin health related that I offer. Skinessa, which is the best skin health probiotic. Butcher Box, which is a great place to source your meat. Um, the Three Phases Workbook, and also my Instagram link, Stuart Rob Stewart on Instagram, and real life just Rob Stewart. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. Leave your questions and comments down below. Subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, slam that like, and uh, let me tell you a quick story about what my major tattoos mean. So all of my tattoos are representations of people or times and events. Um, so right here I have an owl. That owl represents my oldest sister, Amy, because she's wise and she's calm and she has a very calming energy for me and, and somewhat mystical creature she is. She's awesome. I have her tatted on my hand. On my left hand is my other sister, Katie the Bird. And so we got an old school Celtic tattoo. She has the same one on her shoulder. Katie's the bird. Um, I have a lot of triangles on my body because uh, I like them. Anyway, these guys, it's just an anchor and a teardrop and a moon and a triangle. No big deal. Not a lot of meaning there. I just like those symbols. This guy, um, this is a symbol of a gang I was in called the Lucadia Triangle, the East Bay Crip. I'm just kidding. Um, but we were like a bike club and a close group of really good friends. And this symbolizes um, that era in the mid 2000s when we all lived on the beach together in a perfect triangle. One house here, one house there, one house there. So that's what that tattoo is. Um, this guy, this is my mom and dad, Angel Lion. So that represents them. Uh, Lucky Horseshoe right here. Uh, obviously a Celtic cross is my very first tattoo. Celtic cross is the celebration of the infinite, the past, the present, and the future, and how they're all combining at the same time to create this present moment. 
keeps me grounded. Um, and then we got the pyramid and the all-seeing eye. Um, no, this is not an Illuminati symbol. This is a pagan symbol that means having the veil lifted. It's like, I see you, I see everything. I'm open, so be careful. And then the octopus represents myself, the eight limbs of yoga, the eight limbs of the octopus. And this is a candy skull, which represents celebrating life and not being afraid of death. When death comes for me, I'll be ready because I'm pushing the limit of what I can do in this life. And I believe the best way to live is to have a beautiful death like the Vikings do. I guess that's because I'm pretty much a Viking. Um, and that's all my major tattoos. I have a couple on the back of my neck. They're just kanji. It says one, love, courage, honesty. Um, and that's about it. So those are my tattoos. Those are what they mean. The backgrounds in them are actually pretty cool. Um, the background on this one comes from a grave in Ireland of a Viking king. And it was stenciled with a piece of paper. And it's this design that you can see in the background. This was all on his gravestone. These guys, old school Viking Celtic. Um, and then the background on this side, which is like these smoky, weird, like circle things. Same thing, uh, Viking king that has a funeral or has his um, gravestone in Ireland and just stenciled the, the gravestone and then created a tattoo out of it. So I got Viking kings on each arm. I got my family on each arm. Um, and that's the story of my tattoos. All right, thanks for watching.